All right, folks, we're out in the barn today. I just wanted to go through with you guys uh, how I go about painting my uh, beehives. The first thing I do, I go to uh, Lowe's or Home Depot, and I buy the paint that they made a mistake on. I get it for like five bucks a gallon. I usually get the exterior, but um, recently I've been purchasing the interior paint and using it outside. Uh, from what I read online is, uh, they tell me that the paint, there's no difference between uh, the interior paint and exterior paint as in the components uh, that makes up the properties of the paint. Um, I did that uh, two years ago. I have hives out in the field in operation now uh, with interior paint and it's been working out real well. So I go to uh, Lowe's or Home Depot and uh, preferably like on a Tuesday because uh, Saturday and Sunday all the homeowners go there and they buy all this paint and their wives complain about the color that they chose and they bring it back and they get their money back. It takes about two, takes two or three days for that to get on the, uh, the oops shelf. We call it the oops shelf. Uh, so uh, I go out there and uh, you know, I purchase the paint from those guys. So the other thing that I do is, I just wanna make sure we're still connected. Yep. The other thing I do is uh, when I paint the hives, I don't use a roller. Uh, I don't use an air, airless uh, sprayer. I use a sprayer that I purchased uh, from Harbor Freight. Uh, you use it to uh, paint uh, vehicles with. It's a, uh, here you go, that's what it looks like. It's one of these sprayers. And, uh, you know, rule of thumb is that you can't spray latex paint out of one of these. Well, it worked for me, so, and it works for these hives, so it beats rolling. I mix the paint in a bucket, as you can see down to there. Uh, the bucket uh, consists of uh, the paint itself and some uh, water to cut it. So what we'll do is we'll get painting these things. I'm going to adjust the uh, pressure on that air compressor. It goes on better than this, but I'm having some difficulties right now. There you go, much better. Spin it around. I got it on a cart. As you can see. Ah, oh, much better.
let the compressor build back up again. It's a small air compressor, but I'm sure if you had a larger one, you wouldn't have any problems. You can smoke right through this job. It's easy to clean also, you just take it apart and uh, soak it in some water. It's latex paint. Let's let the compressor build back up. So it really doesn't make a difference what color you choose, just it's a light color. Because the object is you want the, the, uh, the heat to reflect off of the hive. Like a black hive would generate a lot of heat in the summertime. So the bees have a hard time uh, cooling the hive down. They cool the hive down by going out on the landing board and they uh, flap their wings and it allows air to go inside of the hive. Goes all nice now with a lot of pressure. let it build back up and I'll show you how far we can go with it. You can see here we have a bunch of different ones. This is the blue paint. This here is interior. Worked out well. I got some stain paint that didn't really work out too well. It was a pain in the neck to put on. Here we go. If I had a bigger air compressor, we could knock this whole job out. When I'm done this video, I'm gonna mess with the compressor, see if I can up the PSI. Yeah, so you got to let it build up. All right, folks, that's it for now.